What's good, YouTube? Tim from SSG, and I'm here with Mark Fulietta. What did you just do, Mark? Um, I got ninth place at a main regional. And what were you playing? I was playing Layer and Fernoid. Oh, sweet. Let's get the next one. Cool. So, for starters, these are the only hand traps I played. Uh, it's three, three of the staple. Like, you don't not play this. And then uh, I decided to throw in two Lilith at the last second because. Uh, the one thing I struggle with going into these regionals is just seeing Feast turn one when I go first. So, you know, this just adds the consistency and it's really good with layer. Um, to the Infernoids, uh, staple three Decca, uh, two Daddy, two Mommy. Shout out to Tim for the Italian Deviatis. Uh, two Infernoid Sights Miss, the best Infernoid in the deck by far. Uh, Banishing without targeting is extremely powerful in like any format. So. We've been doing it for years. Years. Nothing to it. Uh, and then a one of Harmadic, one of Petrulia, one of Sajet, Feast Target, and the one of Tondal. Uh, I was almost considering not playing this at all because it actually, it just, I don't like too many high level monsters in my hand when I don't have low level monsters to play with, but now that I'm playing a build that plays layer and uses the smaller ones, I can utilize this a little better. So. It came in handy really well. It actually won me a couple games just attacking over people's monsters. And that's it for the monsters. Uh, to the spells, three extravagance. Sorry budget players, but it's needed for Infernoids. Uh, drawing two just by banishing from your extra deck is really useful getting to feast. Three duality. I was also really iffy on this because there's a lot of special summoning this deck does and you can't win unless you special summon. <laughs> so. Uh, do, seeing this turn one and just finding feasts as early as possible is the main goal of the deck, and that's what I strive for. Uh, and then three banishment staple, three win condition. Never gets old. Just throw this on the field, and your opponent cries almost. Uh, and then three call by the grave. I didn't want to do gamma. I was playing gamma at first, but you know, gamma's gamma. And I don't like I don't like dead drawing into more than one gamma or even driver, so I just cut it out entirely and just play three of these. And then two layer, really good card. And then a spicy tech I decided to throw in was extra net. Uh, I actually saw a player throw this in in one of his top profiles. Uh, basically, you play metaverse, you play two of them, and you know going first, and you just throw this down against like Orcus or any like combo deck, and it just. You just get free draws. Uh, it won. I didn't see it at all today, and I only saw it in my last match. But it, I plus three uh, in my last match, so that's where it shined most. And then lastly is the one twin twister. Forget Mystic Mine and all of that. All back row decks. Screw me this format. You know, Crackdown is awful. It's really hot right now, so I just want to be prepared for it in the slightest. And next is three Void Feast. Shout out to Tim for the Italian for piece. Best card, one of the best cards in the deck going first. And then two metaverse. Two metaverse simply for the layer and extra net combo. And that's it for the main deck. Um, going on to the side, it was actually really rushed and I, I saw myself losing the back row deck so I just decided to focus on that as the main focus for the side. Uh, three Lancia for the combo decks. Uh, two Denko, shout out to Chris Taylor, he's a homie. Got these right here, and I never I never even sighted them. I didn't even want to put them in once. Uh, and I never saw them and never used them, but they are there just in case. Uh, two Pankratops, also didn't see it, but it's also good to have. Uh, I decided to throw in two Misty, because I need back row removal, and I like to not neg off of it, so that's always good. And then the one Twin Twister, if, if I need to get rid of more back row. But it doesn't stop there. I go and play three Red Reboot because I just, I don't like back row decks. And if you play back row and I negate it, and then I just bring out Deviati and nuke your whole board. And I actually did that against an Altergeist player. He, uh, he impermanenced my Decatron when I normal summoned it. And I just threw down Red Reboot. And I hard drew into the Deviati. Had Decatron in Grave and two Anunku in hand after I used Link Rebo. And then I just nuked this whole back row. It was just incredible. He, lit he shook my hand after that. <laughs> he was so surprised. And then uh, two anti-spell, Pendulum Hate, and also Striker Hate. I didn't see either of them today, so I didn't really actually cite it for anything, but it was good to have just in case. That's the side. Going on to the extra. 
played three Tierra. Uh, kind of need to play three in this format if you're playing extravagance with the deck. Uh, and then I played Tunatus. I cut it was three, but I cut it for an extra uh, Nightmare Phoenix because you know back row removal is something eminent about this format and this deck especially. You know, can't deal with that. And then. Uh, Friggin' Tierra target, just send that with Tierra, shuffle something back, easy, easy. Uh, and then two Phoenix, one Link Karibo, one Wee Witch, one Hida, came in clutch, uh, one Cerberus, one Unicorn. Kill them if you play Feast and they just don't do anything after that, and I actually did that one game. It was actually my final game. He, I put out Feast, I put out all three of my targets, and he just scooped. He basically passed, and then I just threw out Decode and OTK'd him. And then lastly is the Boral Sword. Uh, I played it probably twice today, but it worked every time. Do you remember what your matchups were? Um, I don't by heart, but I have them all written down. I actually went against 60 card Orcus Danger, and then it was Altergeist, and then it was Trickstar, which was you, I lost to you. Went to game three though, I put up a fight. And then I won against Salomon Great, 2 0 that. Uh, I went up again against Orcist, <laughs> actually against a kid from my locals, and I only lost because his uh, his recode or Time Thief, whatever his name is. I had a set feast, and all my other feast targets were like gone. Like I had two Decatron in the deck and Sajet, and he ripped the Decatron before I even like responded with the feast. I, I wasn't going to. I was taking my chances, but he took the Decatron and it was dead, so I lost. And then I faced another Orcus, beat them, another Orcus, and beat him as well. And yeah, those were my matchups. Any shoutouts you want to give? Uh, shoutouts to Silverstorm Gaming for all the support they've ever given me. Uh, and shoutouts to my friends back at home. Shoutouts to Dan Velasky, Tim Velasky specifically. You guys were awesome. You guys helped me learn so much about this deck. Especially you, Tim. You're like one of the masters of Infernoids. So definitely hope I made you proud, man. And, uh, the air show did make us proud. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, yeah, that's that's really it. Any changes you think you'd make going forward? Um, at this point, just don't play Infernoids in this format. But uh, other than that, I don't think I'd make much changes elsewise, elsewhere. Uh, I did cut Mystic Mine. I was playing that at first, but I found out it's not so easy for myself to out that. So I kind of just cut it and put a second layer of darkness because that card's just broken. Thanks for the deck for Congrats. Tim, Thank you. Out.